Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how you can work with components within your Vue.js applications. As always, the full text version of this tutorial can be found on my website and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. So what is a component? Well, within Vue.js applications, it's a self-contained unit of code that represents a logical block of your application. So for example, Say you had a dashboard with four distinct boxes showing four distinct metrics. You would typically break this up into four unique components that you would then display. So the same can be said for the likes of Angular and React. Both of these larger alternative frameworks also use components to comprise their applications. Now the advantages of using components are twofold. The first of which is that you can easily reuse these components in different pages of your application just by inserting that component's HTML tag and it should render and display as it normally would. Now the second is in terms of the separation of concerns it provides. So if you wanted to make any changes to component A, you would ideally not expect it to impact a component B or a component C. By having these defined as two unique separate components you typically have that added level of safety when it comes to making any changes. So let's dive into Visual Studio Code and start by creating a very simple component that we can register globally using view.component, like so. So view.component. And then we're going to spe specify the tag name. So I'm just going to call this simple component, like so. And then I'm going to open up the options object. Within this, I'm going to want to create a template. And within this, I'm going to simply want to do h2 simple component, like so, and then close that h2 tag. Now, we shouldn't have to make any further changes to our JavaScript, but within our HTML, we'll want to render our simple component. And we can do that by calling simple component just with the HTML tags like so. Now, if we come into our browser, you should see that on localhost port 8080, our simple component is now rendered successfully. Now, just to refresh your memory, we're using the live server node module in order to serve this index.html file, which includes our Vue.js application. So now that we've globally registered our component, Let's start fleshing it out and making it do something a little bit more interesting than just printing out a simple h2 tag. So to begin with, let's start by creating a data function, like so, which will return a JSON object with counter as one. Now within here, we're going to change simple component to counter, surrounded by two sets of curly braces. Coming into our browser, you should see that once the Vue.js application renders, it will then display hello world and our counter. So next thing what we want to do is create a div that will surround our component. And we're going to want to create a button that will increment counter, so increment counter. Now, we're going to want to create a method that will call whenever we hit this button. And we can do that by doing methods and increment. And this dot counter plus equals one, like so. Now within our button tag, we're going to want to do V on and click, and we're going to call, want to call increment. Save that and come back into your browser and then hit the increment counter. And you should see that our counter object is incremented every time we hit this button. Now let's see what we've actually done here. So within our button tag that we've defined, We've used the v on directive to specify that whenever this button is clicked, 
we will want to call the increment method which we've defined down in our methods object here. When this method is called, it will increment this dot counter which we've specified up here um, by one. So this was just a nice and simple example to get you up and running writing your own view components. Now, if you found this tutorial useful, then please let me know in the comments section below. If you liked it, then give me a thumbs up. And if you loved it, then please subscribe to my channel for more Vue.js content. Cheers.